Junaid Siddiqui. 20 years of age, uh, just a nine matches for him, and good opportunity for uh, both these uh, openers. Because if you look at the target, it's not a big one here. So it would be mightily. Catch it! Yeah, in the air, and will be safe. And will go for four. I don't know what happened there with Gillespie. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing the replay. Made to look a clown there. Well, Gillespie is going to say it was an awkward bounce. It's a double-paced uh, stadium. <laughs> because uh, because there's a double-paced wicket, but in this instance, it's the outfield, which outfoxed him. Good. They're just checking his shot, I thought, at the last moment. He could have gone full swing, and <laughs> he's in the, he's all over the place, wasn't he? He didn't know what was happening. Didn't judge it at all. It just spun back slightly. Catch it! That's beautifully struck. Took it on the half volley again. The method that Siddiqui has been using displayed there. 25 overs bowled, 90 for two. Catch it! Oh, oh just falling short of Styrus. Lunging forward to pick it up. He'll be disappointed. It's on the way, boys, on the way, yeah! We must have uh, another look at whether did it carry or... Oh, just dying down. In the end, Catch. Came very quickly to on to him. That's nicely played by Junaid Siddiqui, bisecting the two fielders and uh, going in uh, for three very comfortable runs, bringing up the hundred for Bangladesh. It's a good milestone to achieve. It took just two wickets down, and uh, certainly has. Uh, Brought the crowd to life. Oh, down the track, and there it is. Congratulations. He's made his first 50 in one day international cricket. Very, very well compiled 50. He's been sedate, he's been careful, he's been patient. He's picked his shots very nicely, and he's played according to the requirement of the innings it isn't a big target to go for there's no need a positive attitude about this team i've seen so far they've kept their cool yes, so far lads, lads, and on. i just hope they carry on doing so down that's. the track and that's four more that's a very very handy over seven from at 108 for two Could this be the match winning partnership for Bangladesh? Ashrafal, the skipper, and Siddiqui. Get home and finish the job off. Still a fair way to go. They still need 55 to win it. Also from the batsmen, they've uh, lost uh, early on Tamim Iqbal, but they didn't lose a quick wicket after that. Mushfiqur Rahim and Tamim Iqbal. Tamim Iqbal was the one who got dismissed, but uh, then Junaid Siddiqui and Mushfiqur Rahim, the uh, were the ones who put on 67 runs for the second wicket, and now again 63. In between uh, Junaid Siddiqui and uh, the captain himself, Mohammad Ashraful. Some good, sensible cricket. You'll always uh, be paying uh, big dividends if the top order, especially the opener, bats through. And that's exactly oh, okay. what uh, Junet Siddiqui has done. He's still in the middle. And he's uh, moved on to 67. Short, wide, one more. Add that to 150 for Bangladesh. Getting quicker, too, with those... Uh... 50s. A little bit of a bottom edge, but it certainly was there. Uh, the Tory scratches his head, but really a difficult chance. It was so late in terms of the execution with the cut. It's a bottom edge that has uh, gone through the onto the pad, in fact, of McCallum. 
This one dragged down. He saw Siddiqui coming, Vittori, and just dragged it down, but it still cannot prevent more runs. Another single. Four from this over. And this is this uh, late cut. A little late dab he was trying to perform there. Got a little bottom edge. Starts with a very short, nasty little delivery, and it is welcome to the game. Jesse Ryder gone for a boundary with a loosener. Nice little toucher from Jeanette Siddiqui on that occasion. But then again, and just uh, pulled that muscle here. Well, he's been there for a long time. He was in the field, probably there's uh, cramps. Should not bother him uh, because of the fact that uh, he's so close to the victory. They need 47 to win from 77. He'll just let, take a little bit of time to get uh, himself up and uh, running again. Physio there, it's giving him the treatment. Flinging those liquid uh, does help a lot because he's lost quite a lot of liquid since batting. That's the boundary. Easy picking, wasn't it? He was uh, out of the tracks pretty quickly. Probably that stretch. Yes, sir. Uh, that's where you uh, pull that uh, muscle. And with that score, he moves on to 72 and becomes the highest uh, scorer against uh, New Zealand. The previous best was uh, Mohamed Ashraful, scored 70 in Auckland in the year 2007. And it's now Jeanette Siddiqui. has been a very good performance it has been a very good team effort altogether absolutely brilliant to see watch uh, these uh, youngster making an effort uh, to win after such a long time huge crowd here as well sensing that uh, they will uh, see a chance and now get an opportunity to see the team win and making history they have never beaten New Zealand in an ODI. Siddiqui, that is. And again, he strays right and will go for four more. Down to fine leg yet again. The first ball and the fourth ball have gone for boundaries in that area. And look at that crowd. They love it. Absolutely delighted to see the young Tigers uh, doing the, what they wanted the team to do for a long long time good batting onto the legs very strong off his pads uh, <laughs> 21 runs now from 60 deliveries look at that 57 from 49 for Mohamed Ashrafal in this partnership. 40 from 49 for Junaid Siddiqui. Partnership of 101 off 98. Fantastic. And it appears to be a match-winning partnership. Savour the glory. It's uh, down leg side, and that's four more. Great shot. Takes him to 84. And uh, if he just stays on the ball and waits for the loose delivery, he might even pick up his 100. He's got to 84. He only needs 16 more. But he won't. <laughs> They've got 10 runs to win. Work out the permutations as to how you could get the 100. I just want 100 for him. <laughs> yeah, that's keeping your mind on the job, Bruce. <laughs> Need 10 from... 52 deliveries. Look at that. Lovely technique. <laughs> oh dear. It's been a long day and it's going to be a great day for Bangladesh cricket because they came back, as we said, from Australia with their tails between their legs. It was a shocking series for them. It wasn't, they didn't show too much spirit. But they've turned this around today and uh, I'm very happy for that young man. Good head on his shoulders. 
84. He's batting at a strike rate of 65. Yeah, that's good. And more importantly, I think there were a few uh, eyebrows raised as to whether this new look side could match up to it. But uh, I think they've done wonderfully well and proven without any doubt that um, opportunity is what is so important. And um, wearing your country's cap, playing it, wearing it with pride, playing for your country is so important. The tour schedule, second ODI and uh, in Dakar on the 11th, the Brack Bank series and the third one in Shittagong. So um, the New Zealanders will have a lot of work to do. They come here with a purpose, but um, the uh, thoughts of a 3 0 uh, ODI victory has been thrown out of the window by the Bangladeshis. And this is also a, a fantastic, if well, they will win this, but uh, for the Brack Bank. It's come in as sponsors, and uh, it'll be terrific for them as well that uh, they stood up sponsored the series and it looks like they're going to have a win first up so congratulations to them brack bank for sponsoring this series 2008 it was a late call to uh, to play this tournament the next match on saturday here at the same stadium here in dhaka and it'll be packed i reckon after they win this One ninety two for two. Yes, you could see um, sort of an uh, element of relaxation in uh, Siddiqui. That smile was never there throughout this innings. It was grim determination. And they just need 10 runs to win from 48 balls. And there's no doubt that everyone in this stand, everyone watching this uh, uh, game, would be hoping that Siddiqui will be there with his captain at the end to try and take Bangladesh to this uh, historic victory. Ten required for glory and go one up in this three match Brank Bank, Bank series. Ashraful, fantastic innings from him, 57 so far from just 49 deliveries without being silly at all. Just played some really lovely cricket shots. But uh, this partnership has taken it away from them. More runs. Eight to win. Oh, Jamie Siddons, this will be very good for him also. He, it's, it's been a very frustrating time for him. He was an attacking batsman himself. He was one of the best players never to play much for Australia. Bops in the air and oh. Unfortunately for him, he's tried to turn on the leg side, got an e a leading edge. And Siddiqui is gone. Caught by Dale Oram, but a fantastic knock from him. Yes, I think a rare mistake by Siddiqui. He looked to work that on the onside, turned the face a little too early. Again, the bounce. He has not been too comfortable with the shortish delivery, been very comfortable with the one that has been pitched up. And this time, a leading edge going to Oram. But uh, he's done all the good work. And I think he's uh, seen uh, Bangladesh on the verge of victory. He's gone for 85 by 94 for three. 